Let's take a look at the mechanism uh, when we're faced with an acid-catalyzed hydration reaction. And that's typically when we have uh, something like an alkene and some acid. It could be H3O+, it could be HCl and water, or H2SO4 and water, or really any combination of a strong mineral acid and water, uh, which is sometimes abbreviated H3O+. And so uh, the first thing uh, that we can do is protonate uh, the alkene, and we're going to fudge that and really not show the, the OH bond. And we get this cation that's a proton transfer, and of course we have water around um, and in this case, I drew this cation on the top of the alkene. We certainly could have drawn the other one. I could have drawn this. And indeed, probably a lot of this cation is formed. I'm going to use this one because I can rearrange this molecule, this ion, to form a tertiary cation. And now again, I still have water around. And now I can take the water, this is the hydration step, uh, do a nucleophilic addition, and I end up with my penultimate product. Remember, there are two H's attached to water, so they should still be here. I haven't done anything to remove them. And the last step, then, is simply removal of the extra hydrogen. There's nothing to remember here. I just, all I had to do was draw this attached to my cation. So I can do a final proton transfer step and end up with a tertiary alcohol. And of course I might form a little bit of this secondary alcohol too because it's reasonably likely for us to form this cation down here. I like to call this a fun with acid problem uh, basically because we are taking uh, some starting material turning it into a cation possibly rearranging it, and then we're going to add a nucleophile, which tends to be water or maybe an alcohol of some sort, to the cation. Um, and we, you'll see that we deal with cations all over the place here. Everything has a cation on it until we get to the final uh, product. So I call this a, a fun with acid type problem. And uh, we can do this many different ways. Um, as long as there's acid here, like we saw, we get basically a range of different cations.